What's going on, everybody? It's the president. That's right. The president. The great Duke Bothers has arrived. I'm back. How you guys been? Hey, uh, don't don't judge me, guys. It's cold. All right. It, it, it's actually probably freezing outside. So, yes, I'm bundled up. No, I do not apologize. And no, I regret nothing. Uh... First of all, that's two bets paid. Shout out to Eagles Champ, Dave Eagles Champ 34 specifically. I just paid that bet. I was I was offline for a month. There you go, bet paid. It's been a month since I made the bet, so here we are. I can't do it. I can't not make this video. I just can't. I, you know, first, let me back up. Let me tell a story. Can the president tell a story real quick? Let me tell a story. So there I was. Sitting at home with Mini Duke, playing NBA Jam. He's on fire edition, having a great time. And my buddy Travis Staley gives me a call. He says, hey Duke, can we talk for a minute? I said, yeah, sure. He says, tell you what, why don't you uh, come down to the restaurant? We'll have a buffet. We'll eat some ribs. You know, we'll eat good. It's on me. Come at me, bro. I said, all right, man. Cool. Sounds like a good time. Met up with Travis Staley. Shout out to Travis, Metalburg Cowboys fan. Biggest Green Bay Packer hater I've ever met. Uh, we shared a few bites. Had a good time. And uh, he was telling me about these Packer fans on YouTube. Uh, the ones specifically who think that they're Cowboys face. Who I thought was, uh, I thought was interesting. And I didn't know anything about them. Didn't have a clue. So I started uh, doing a little bit of research, you know, because I like to research a little bit during my hate weeks, and I found the biggest flock of clowns and, and doofuses and morons I've ever seen on YouTube. These guys are idiots, and they're everywhere. You know, Cowboy's Face made a video earlier today addressing uh, the tomfoolery of the Green Bay Packer fan base, and there they were in the comment section. Like, calling out Cowboy's face, uh, inviting him to a live stream on a stream yard, and telling him and Metalbird Cowboy Travis Staley that the Dallas Cowboys fan base was not worthy of their time. And I'm, I'm just going through the comments section. Like, first of all, I have no idea who any of these Packer fans are. I never heard of any of them in my life. And they claim to have these big live streams, these big round tables, these Green Bay Packer shows that they've got that everybody watches. And they're so important. 100 subscribers. 50 subscribers. <laughs> I guess they're not that good. Nobody watches them. Nobody likes them. How you could even have a round table when your team is this bad is beyond me. Look. We have our own circus clown. We have the Washington Redskins in our division. They're the joke of our division. They don't make round tables. We have awesome sports making videos and that's it. <laughs> our dunce knows where their corner is and that's where they sit. I'm talking about the Redskins fan base. They all sit in their corner. They know they suck. They know that's where they belong and they don't come out unless they're told. Green Bay Packer fans don't know where the corner is. Even though they're all wearing the dunce caps, they can't seem to find the corner. So they go to Cowboys Faces comments section, just hoping and praying that somebody's going to give them a little bit of attention so that maybe, just maybe, they'll get those five or ten new subscribers to their round table that's a, apparently supposed to be relevant. Well, Packer fans... Allow me to introduce myself. See, you picked on Travis. You talked about his his uh, his body. You picked on Cowboy's face by wearing the mask and, and doing his gimmick. Way worse than he did, by the way. He did a great job. Yours was yours was subpar at best. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the great Duke Bothers. I'm the president of our little community, and I have been for quite some time. Okay, uh, in the words of Will Ferrell, a.k.a. Ron Burgundy, I don't know how to put this, 
but I'm kind of a big deal. I'm kind of the man around here. Like, this is my yard. People respect me, and they have for 16 years. And quite frankly, none of you are on my level. None of you. But, to back up my Dallas Cowboys brethren, my CNS brothers, I wanted to make this video to let them know that I was joining the battle. I'm like Rowdy Roddy Piper, folks. I just came here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. But I do see a lot of stinky cheese. Wow, somebody could really clip that and use that against me, couldn't they? Whew. I better not keep this video up too long. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, well. That's what happens when you're when you're popular. You know, people like to clip your shit. Somebody was uh, porn bombing some streams under my, under my screen name a couple days ago. That was interesting. Uh, guys, from now on, don't let me on your panels unless I turn my camera on, please. Um, you know, I'll tell you if it's not me. Because that definitely was not me. Uh, but back to the Packers fans. You're going to get your five minutes of fame if you make a video tonight. If you go live tonight, whatever you do, you can do it. Have fun. We're not going to be there. Uh, on behalf of the Dallas Cowboys fan base on YouTube, we're not going to be there. Sorry. You think that we're not relevant. You think that we're not worthy of your time. My friends, you have it twisted. You're not worth our time. We have round tables to go to. Boys for Life is live right now with a female. I haven't seen any Packer females yet. Don't think they exist. Wouldn't be shocked. You got no females in your fan base. Prove me wrong. Find a Packer female, then we can talk. We have our own live streams, okay? We have our own panels. We're doing our own thing. We've got viewers. We've got subscribers. We have an entire community on our backs, and we're not going. But if you want to talk football, because that's the next thing I'm going to say. Well, Duke Bobby's made a video, but he didn't talk about the game. He must be scared. Listen. Listen. I'm not like other Cowboys fans when it comes to this game, okay? I don't think you're going to score a touchdown. I really don't. I can't get this to where it looks good. There we go. I don't think you're going to score a touchdown on us, Green Bay. I really don't. I don't think... I don't think the Packers get in the end zone. Ugh, excuse me. I just had a, a shake from Steak and Shake. I don't think the Packers are going to score a touchdown in this game. I really don't. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think the Cowboys are going to score early, and we're going to score often. Okay? I think we're going to kill Green Bay. I really do. Aaron Rodgers is a fraud. You got no wide receivers. Your running back is hurt. Your offensive line is terrible. And your defense, I guess, is not that good, according to the Detroit Lions. So, all in all, you're not going to win the game, Green Bay. Sorry. Sit down. Go back to your corner. Put your dunce hat on. And shut the hell up while the Dallas Cowboys spank you. Because that's kind of what we do. Oh, it's good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. It is good to be back. Hopefully, I will see you guys on Monday for Monday Night Mayhem. If I can't go live Monday for whatever reason, I will definitely go live Wednesday, just to let you know. But, man, it's good to be back. I'm out of here. It's a great Duke Bothers. Go Cowboys. Packers suck. Shout out to Travis Staley and Cowboys face. I'm out.